Drew, thank you. Well, some careers involve high-pressure work environments. Construction, for instance. Yeah, data shows that construction is one of the top five industries with the highest suicide rates. CBS 58's Taj Mahal shares how a local company is getting proactive to better assist its employees. Construction work carries a unique level of stress. John Huggett, vice president and GM of Bolt Construction, says the industry can be rewarding but also challenging. The budget, the schedule, uh, the completion, working safely, all these are, are pressures, sometimes often working away from home as well that our men and women on our construction sites uh, feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Suicide is one of the leading causes of death among construction workers, and the pandemic only made things worse. As a proactive approach, Bolt launched an employee-led suicide prevention program. Workers can volunteer to be what they call gatekeepers. We want to keep our employees safe every day when they come on site, um, and that is not just their physical well-being, but also their mental well-being. The designated gatekeepers of the program have all gone through the necessary training to assist their peers with mental health related issues. Now it's easy to identify these people. They're all carrying around a purple sticker that says it's okay to ask for help. 88 people throughout our company uh, went through the training of the QPR Institute to make sure that we knew uh, we could start destigmatizing some of the uh, issues associated with suicide and mental health. QPR is a widely recognized suicide prevention training. Ryan Olson is a volunteer gatekeeper at Bolt. We do annual trainings just to understand, you know, what our role is. The program is laying a foundation to build a stronger team while raising mental health awareness. I've seen it in the past too, where you know people have struggled, and I, I wish I had this training you know, before, just to be able to help a little bit more and have those guidance. Because I think in the past, it was just something, a poster. Okay, go over there and do it. And now it's like you have people to go talk to. In Milwaukee, Taj Mahal, CBS 58 News.